In this video, I'm gonna identify the best value plays by comparing major sportsbooks lines the underdog fantasy lines, and giving you guys the top five overall. But as always, before jumping into my early video, I do want to give a quick shout out to underdog fantasy. If you guys have not signed up for underdog fantasy, go ahead and sign up entering code using DGF for 100% match up to $100. Underdog fantasy is a fantasy app where you simply hit the over or under of any certain fantasy projection or player prop. It really is that easy. Again, that is code DGF. You'll get $100 just for watching this video. This video is also officially powered by OddsJam.com. If you guys do not know what OddsJam.com is, don't worry, I'm gonna show you here in just a second. OddsJam.com is a player prop research tool. You can sign up 30 days for completely free. Um, go ahead and head over to OddsJam.com and compare all the major player props right then and there. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use it personally. Um, every single morning I wake up and identify the early value plays by logging on to OddsJam, looking at the specific sport that I wanna break down. In this case, it's going to be MLB. Head to the MLB tab, obviously, and then you get to hone in on a specific matchup. For this example, we're taking a look here at the Toronto Blue Jays and the Chicago Cubs. I'm also honing in on a specific player prop that I want to research. This happens to be player strikeouts. As you can see here, Berrios in this matchup here for the Blue Jays. Um, his line is set to a near even line across the board all these major sports books have. So as you can see here, uh, looks like an underdog minus 137 we have a couple minus 118s regardless it looks like the juice is kind of on that edge of five and a half it's not shifting one way or another so what this would identify to me is that the the sports books this is some of the most accurate projections in all of the sports industry project us at five and a half project him at five and a half strikeout so somewhere in between that five and six range okay so he could end up with five or six now what this is showing me is that per the most accurate projections in the entire world, um, what this is gonna be. Now, if I compare this over the prize picks, let's just hypothetically say that Berrios was set to five. That would indicate a very good value bet on prize picks and a plus EV bet. So I would be taking the over at five on prize picks. And this is basically how I identify the early edge every single morning. But don't worry guys, I've already done the dirty work for you. I'm gonna go ahead and identify the top five overall. Coming in at number five is gonna be Freeman under 1.5 total bases. This currently has a pinnacle on the minus 145. That means pinnacle is giving us a 55.7% chance to hit the under. Coming in at number four is gonna be Godoy over 0.5 player hits. This currently has an average line of minus 150 across major sports books. That means Vegas is giving us a 55.7% chance to hit the over. Coming in at number three is gonna be Acuna under 1.5 total bases. This currently has a pinnacle line of minus 149. That means Pinnacle is giving us a 56.3% chance to hit the under. Coming in at number 2 is going to be Lux over 0.5 hits. This currently has an average line of minus 150 across major sports books. That means Vegas is giving us a 56.4% chance to hit the over. My overall favorite play is going to be another player hits prop. This prop currently has an average line of minus 155 across major sports books. That means Vegas is giving us a 56.5% chance to hit the over. My overall favorite play is going to be Muncie over 0.5 hits. 